Hello, sounds true. This is a short video on how to manage Google Groups. So pretend you've got a couple of groups that you're in charge of. The way to manage them is first to open the Groups interface, which is done from the All Apps button up here. Groups, if you don't see it, just scroll down. There's more options down below, and you can actually rearrange these as you feel like you want. Once we open up Groups here, we're going to want to go and see what groups we're currently in charge of. These will be listed under My Groups. So as you can see here, I have a large number of groups that I'm in charge of. And uh, for example, let's go ahead and we are going to manage the All Sounds True group here. Now, any group you have permission to manage will have a Manage button next to it. If you don't see that, then you don't have permission to do that. Let's go ahead and open it up now. Here you'll see a list of everyone who is in the group, when they joined, what their role is, what their email address is, etc. cetera. Uh, so for example here, I see a lot of people who don't work at Sounds True anymore that can be removed. It's very easy. Click on them. You can go over to Actions and Remove from Group. Very, very simple. To add members, you have two options on how to do this. You can either invite people over here, and that will send them an email saying, do you wish to join our group? Or you can actually direct ad members. It doesn't ask for permission. See here how it says, like, please, you know, use it only for people who actually want it. So we can go ahead and add anybody to be able to receive all ST emails. So, for example, I have a test account here, or we can use, say, Trista but that's like a home account there. So we make sure we use the sounds true one. And then we would hit add. Now she's already in the group, so this isn't gonna work, but it gives you the simple way of how to add people. Now, one thing of note is that in the event that you decide that either you wish to leave sounds true or whatever happens, you should make sure to transfer group ownership to a new person. In order to do this, what you'll want to do is, let's go ahead and I'm going to open up the password reset group here. I'm gonna click on manage. We see everyone who's in that group. I'll want to make someone else the owner so that they can then manage the group. And this is very, very simple. All you do is select the person you're interested in. We'll say Lucy here. We're going to go to actions and we're going to say add to role owner. As soon as you do this, she'll be able to manage the group in the same way that you do. A group can have multiple owners of people who are in charge of it. Um, there's no restriction on that number. Past that, all group members are basically the same. And with that, that's as simple as it is to actually manage groups. I hope this helps, and if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me.